Hi, this is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a little craft. Um, I think you can call it a folded booklet, uh, or at least that's my intention. And uh, I don't think I've ever done one, but I just thought it'd be a nice thing to try. And I received beautiful, beautiful paper from a crafting friend, Rachel. So thank you, Rachel. I will use some of your paper today. So let's see each other on the other side of the intro. Okay, so I decided I wanted to do one of those little folded booklets um, that has a nice little, I don't know if you can call it a closure, but something to close it. And I don't know, I just felt like doing a nice fun little craft and the thing we're doing today, you could easily fill it up with all kinds of goodies. Uh, if you make pockets inside of it. So just to show an example, I probably will do one. And you can also transform it into a notepad. And yeah, I think it would be something you could easily offer as a present or insert into a journal. So now I'm realizing that um, this is not the same so I'm gonna I think I have let me see if I cut it because um, yeah that's not the same at all and I don't know why because I drew a around a pocket that I had so I don't know how this can be so different <laughs> but I will fix it I will just cut the access I'm going to do so right now. Okay. There we go. And let's see if it's a little more even. See, there's still something that's not right. So I think I have to fix it again. I think there's still a tiny bit of yeah, let me let me see if this will be better. Because if I keep cutting, we'll end up with nothing. <laughs> okay, I think this is it. I think it's okay now. Yeah, that's that looks good enough for me. I think we can all agree on that. So the idea is really simple. I want to make a something that folds and closes like this. So I'm going to measure this way. Actually, I'll just switch this around so we see what we're doing right here. Like so. And I want to keep it as simple as possible. Just going to make sure it's folded evenly. perfect so I know this is brown on brown so it's a little difficult to see maybe on the camera um, and as I can see there's a tiny bit of adjustments to be done here but that's not a problem we will do so so the idea is simple we will make sure that this can be attached to the rest of it of the booklet and then it will open and we can create pockets we can put a little notepad here and you got yourself something really nice and cute to add to a journal or to give as a little present to somebody who would want to have a little notepad to carry around with them. So the rest of the process will be done in fast forward motion as usual and if I feel I need to intervene um, I will do a voiceover which I probably will to explain a few of the things I will be doing and um, but for the rest of it, I think it will be mostly a question of decorating and just enjoying the creative process. So let's get to it.
Hi, this is voice over. <laughs> so um, here I'm realizing that when I fold my trifle pocket, um, the paper rips. So as you know, this is paper crafts. We can always fix it. And that's why I decided to use this washi tape. Plus, bonus, I get to use my washi tapes. If you're like me, you love washi tapes, and well, sometimes we run out of ideas on how to use them. Well, this just so happened, it was the perfect solution. So here I decided to use washi tape for all the edges, if you will. Um, that way I make sure that the paper doesn't come undone or unglued. However, I don't know if you noticed, but um, I'm using different washi tapes just to keep it interesting and so it doesn't look too busy I'm trying to use them in the same tones in the same styles like it's not too loud it's not the colors aren't too bright they're pretty much in the same vibe and um, as you'll see at the at the end I think that was the right choice and it looks so pretty if I can say so myself <laughs> so um yeah let's keep watching So here you saw me try different things for the, well, I don't know, it's not really the cover, but one of the sides, the front sides, I maybe should call them. And at first I grabbed some pictures and such, and then I realized I want pockets. I want pockets everywhere I can, so this becomes not only a little trifold, you know, notepad booklet, um, but also has a lot of pockets. And here I'm using this uh, tool that I just purchased. I am going to put the link because it's not very expensive and I find that it makes beautiful um, little word tags or sentences even because we all love to buy those sentences. Like I've bought a bunch of words from Tim Holtz and you know what, I really love them. I have the sticker ones, I have the ones that are a little thicker. Um, but sometimes it's just this thing you want to say and I find that this tool is the perfect tool to do just that so um, yeah I am not regretting that purchase at all and I don't think it was very expensive for the usage I'm gonna I am going to um, get out of it so yeah I will link it for you if you want so as you can see I'm there adding pockets and you know, it took me a, a few seconds here when I was playing with the pictures, trying to figure out what I'm going to put on each side of this uh, trifle pocket. And once I got going, I was really inspired and then I knew exactly where I was going. So here I'm choosing papers and um, just creating the notepad with all bunch of scraps that I had. Um, you could put more, you could put less. Um, it's really up to you. Um, I thought this was just the perfect amount for, you know, this demonstration and, and this video. Uh, but of course, I could have kept adding and making it, making it. Even
Now here, as you can see, I was trying to make another pocket and then I found that it wouldn't leave a whole lot of space for the tag. I was afraid it would be too tight and then I realized, you know what? I have this beautiful uh, cut out ink bottle um, and I used it in my book lover journal and I put a feather there. It's a real feather and I thought this is perfect because it says, you know, write and there's a notepad and there's little pockets with all kinds of beautiful tags to write on. So I don't know. I thought everything matched, you know, <laughs> and it's, of course, one of the tags says thoughts. So, you know, write your thoughts. <laughs> So I'm going to let you finish the rest of the video. Um, I would like to mention that if you enjoy these videos, um, I would greatly appreciate that you subscribe to my channel. You can also share my videos. Uh, that would bring me a lot of joy as well if you can do that. If you have people you think might enjoy them too. And uh, in the meantime, I want to say thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for all your beautiful comments. And uh, well, I hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.